This is primarily going to be a coaching video today. We're going to show you how to turn a power clean into a full squat clean. For those of your clients that may be interested in uh, the Olympic lifts, you're going to have to learn how to turn the correctly executed power clean without the arm pull, the problem, that problem having already been solved, into a squat clean. In other words, how to turn the power clean that involves no front squat into a correctly performed squat clean. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start with a power clean and there are going to be several steps involved in this. It's not terribly complicated, but it does rely on the fact that you have already taught the correct pull from the floor, which is the deadlift, and the correct power clean from the floor, which adds the rack, the correct rack with no arm pull to the top of the pull. Okay, Bree is going to start off today with correct power clean. She's going to start with a close stance, toes pointed out, maybe a little tiny bit more than that. Take your correct clean grip, which should be wider than the deadlift, obviously, to allow for the rack. And let's do a clean and see what kind of shape we're in in terms of the start of this pull. Let's go. Good. You'll notice Bree's keeping her elbows straight. Let's do one more just to make sure that wasn't an accident. Elbows are nice and straight. The sound of the feet and the rack ought to be simultaneous. She's got a little bit of bar crack there, but we're not going to worry about that with this light weight. Let's do one more and everybody take note. Elbows are in contact with the knees, the outside of the knees. This is a nice, correct, efficient floor pull. All right, now we're going to convert the clean into a squat clean by adding a front squat to the process. We're going to do this by uh, introducing the squat version, the front squat of the, of the, of the process in as a completely separate step. So what Bree's going to do now is power clean the weight in the, in the same fashion that you just saw. She's going to take a breath and then she's going to front squat the bar as two separate steps. A little wider, the wider grip. There you go. Good. She recovers. Notice that the recovery at the top of the power clean involves a little partial squat at the top, big breath, and a front squat. Leading out of the bottom with the chest, the precise opposite of the way we squat. Again, big breath, and then a chest up front squat, and down. Okay. Now, I want you to do the same thing without the breath. I want you to rack the power clean so you're going to take enough breath where this, you off the floor, or you can rack the bar and front squat it without taking the breath at the top. Okay? Good. Just like that. One more. Elbows straight. Straight elbows. Good. And down. Now, you'll notice that when you rack the power clean, you're catching it on bent knees, right? and then you squat. So it's a little recovery with the bent knees. And then, and then you ride the front squat all the way down. Now on this next step, what you're gonna do is instead of catching it here and recovering without the breath, you're gonna catch it here and ride it down without a pause. Just like that. Do that again. <clears throat> okay, and down. Now the last step, you are catching it here and stopping before you go down. Right? On the next one, you're going to catch it and ride it down without any pulse. 
In other words, now you're going to think about getting under the bar. Okay? One more. It's pretty good, but you've got to keep your back organized. You've got to keep your low back organized on this thing. Much better. Good. And that's a squat clean. As the weight gets heavier, this squat process allows you to save some of the range of motion of the pull that is required for a full power clean. In other words, if you use this process, you can get under the bar having pulled it not quite as high as a power clean. As much as you can, you need to extend your knees and hips and learn to get all of the extension gas out of that pull that you possibly can. But if you know how to correctly go under the bar, you can clean heavier weights because the bar does not have to come quite as high. As you get better at going under the barbell, you'll find that your squat clean enables you to probably add 10 to 15 percent to your power clean. That is, of course, unless you stop training your power clean, which is not a good idea. Uh, again, this is for coaches. Those of you who are coaching clients who will be interested in the Olympic lifts need to probably experiment with this little process and see if you can get the thing adapted to the way you handle your lifters. Thanks for watching.